as he skates this around, it is interesting to us that broken ankle and all, Trevor Daly is out there and is in his number six jersey and on skates. I wonder if he'll be one of the first to get it. When I got on the ice, you know, you're trying to congratulate guys and and uh, Sid came up, he's like, you're getting it first. And I was just like, yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> you know, congratulations. I didn't really put much thought into it. I was just trying to congratulate all the guys. Knowing the situation, and knowing how long he had played and uh, how much it meant to him, you know, he's a guy that uh, would love to pass too. Yeah, it was uh, such a surreal moment. Um, hard to put in words um, what I was feeling there, but um, he, he made my, uh, my family really happy. Pittsburgh Penguins defenseman Trevor Daly enjoyed a special bond with his mother. She taught him many valuable lessons about life. She, she definitely, like her kids are her life, you know what I mean? And she's always been like that. She was tough on me, you know, she, uh, she made sure that I was, uh, um, you know, respectful and, uh, you know, did the right things. And, you know, now that, you know, me being a parent, I see a lot of, you know, the things I was like, oh, mom, but, uh, you know, I'm doing the same things too to my kids. So, you know, I'm very appreciative of, of the way she raised me and, and the, the person I've turned out to be. Trevor's mom loved to watch him play hockey. In the spring of 2016, she wanted to make sure she saw his first playoff game as a penguin. She was uh, in Pittsburgh for the first two games and uh, uh, when she got back, she immediately went in the hospital, so, um, and she didn't come out. Trudy Daly was diagnosed with cancer. Her prognosis was bleak. That time in my life was just so traumatic. A lot of it just feels like a big blur most of the time. During the conference finals, Trevor suffered a broken ankle, ending his playoff run. But the injury turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Now that I look back at it, um, I got to spend some time with her. Um, which if I was playing, I probably wouldn't have got to spend that time. The Penguins were, um, were good about the situation right away. They told me to go be with her. Whenever my brother came, it's like she saved up all of his, all of her energy. And when he walked into the room, she just lit up. I think that was pretty special for her to have him come down knowing that, you know, he still needed to be there to support the team. Daly may not have played in the cup finals last year, but he fulfilled his mother's wish. She knew ever since Trevor was a little boy, his dream was to win the Stanley Cup. When they won, it was incredible. Like, we were so happy. We were screaming, crying on the phone. She was like, he did it, he did it. What she got to see at the end was, was pretty special. Um, I know it was for her, you know, obviously with, you know, being given the, pop, the cup first and, and uh, her just seeing me win it. There was no, nobody more upset about me not playing than her. Injured, broken ankle, knocked out of the playoffs, wins his first Stanley Cup, and is the captain's choice for the first pass. It was a gesture from all of us, you know, more than just handing him the cup. That was just something that, you know, when he went down and he was dealing with all that as a teammate, you want to win it even more. It was pretty emotional. And I remember talking to my mom about it after and was like, how awesome is Crosby to pass Trevor the cup for him to be his, the captain's choice. And I was like, it was because of you, mom. Like, like, cause Trev went back and told like the team, you know, my mom's not doing well. But before he left, my mom said, don't worry. Like, I'm gonna stick around and I'm gonna watch you raise the cup, you know? A little over a week later, Daly's mom passed away at age 51. Her first house that she lived in was right at uh, the Scarborough Bluffs there, um, and there's a cemetery there, and that's where she, that's where I decided to, to bury her. So, you know, obviously that's a special spot. I was, ha um, you know, happy that I got to put her where she, you know, had her first home. That's where I got to, to bury her. So, um, you know, that's uh, one of my special places to go.